Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is a video on Visual Studio Code um, and just kind of like how to use Visual Studio Code. It's probably the editor I use most when it comes to coding. Uh, there are other great editors like Sublime, um, Atom, and m many of the basic feature sets are the same, but VS Code does have a lot to offer and it makes my life pretty easy. So let's just kind of go over the interface. So this is this is VS Code. Now what you can do is you can do file open folder and it opens the folder and you can see all the folder and its files right over here. So right now this is kind of an empty folder. I can easily create files with these buttons over here, which is really nice. Also on top of that, it has an integrated terminal. So if I want to open up a bash terminal or whatever terminals you have on your particular machine, I can just click new terminal and it opens up a new terminal where I can do commands, um, you know, and run commands in here and you can run multiple terminals so I can create new terminals so see now I have two bash terminals bash one and bash two and I can delete that one and you can run multiple tabs in a sense on an existing one so I can take this one click this button and split it and now I have two terminals side by side which can be really useful when you need two different processes running at the same time so that's really cool and you can split it again and again okay you can do it as much as you want which is very pretty useful and I think yeah you can adjust the spacing between each one so if you have a couple that you don't really need being too visible you can just do that so let me just uh, delete those okay so that's pretty that itself is pretty useful and probably the most used feature on my on my end um, on top of it you have extensions okay so let me show you, go through some of the better extensions so REST client is like having Postman built into your VS Code. So you can do, you can create like HTTP files and actually do HTTP requests, test your APIs, stuff like that, straight from the straight from VS Code, which is nice when you don't feel like opening up Postman. I still find Postman to be sort of the easiest way to do things, but it's still nice to have this in VS Code. Prettier. Okay, prettier. Um, I use this to, like auto format code. So let's say I, I write an JSON object. So const whatever what equals cheese equals five six is two. And then let's say I just I just you know my formatting is all sorts of off. Okay. What I can do is I'll hit save. Well, let's see. In this case, oh, I didn't put a comma. That's why. Put a comma. Do this. Now, if I hit save, see it'll auto format it for me. Just make everything look prettier. Okay. Now, if you do install that extension, it doesn't work automatically. Okay. And that's where we get into VS Code's huge set of settings. Okay. You can spend probably hours in here just exploring all these different settings and what they do and whatnot, and really customizing VS Code to your liking. Okay, but for prettier, you'd look up formatting. So just type in format in the search, and it'll give you all the formatting options. Like, who's your default formatter? So I changed my default formatter to prettier. Okay, so it's always going to default to prettier as the formatter. And you can do format on paste, so that way when you paste, it formats your code. It format on save, format on type. I usually just do format on save. That's, that's good enough for me. Um, so that's all well and good. Um, other things that are really useful to set in settings is wrap. Okay, I usually have like having word wrap on, so that way all the text isn't going right off the screen. You can set like how how wide it wraps. Um, all sorts of cool um, details like wrapping indentation. So you can really, really again customize this to, to fit your workflow, which is really nice. There's lots of extensions for like every library you can think of. So if you work a lot in React, there are React extensions that will help highlight code and give you code snippets to make working with React easier. Vue, Angular, um, you name it. There's probably a library to help you with it. And libraries to help you with different languages. I have uh, extensions for, let's see, let me some more. I can just see my existing extensions. Um, let's just actually do this. Okay, yeah, these, so these are the extensions I have. Like auto rename tag is really useful. 
because like in HTML, so actually let me show you an example of this. Let's create a new file, index.html. Okay, and when you're doing index.html files, you can do an exclamation point and just do this, and then ta-da, because it has Emmet built in. Emmet's something that makes doing HTML a lot easier. Okay, so first I'll show you Emmet real quick. So if I want to type like an H1 with the class of cheese, I can just do H1.cheese. And now I have an H1 with the class of cheese. Now here's where auto rename goes useful. Let's say I want to change this to an H2. See, it recognizes that this is the closing tag and updates that one too, so I don't have to go separately update it. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so having Emmet auto rename tag definitely makes working with HTML a lot more pleasant. I mean, I have the extension for Ballerina, which is a different programming language. Uh, extensions for like working with Toml and YAML files. Again, a lot of language stuff. CSS Peak is pretty neat. Um, like for example here, where this has like the class of cheese, if I had a CSS style attached to it, like if I had like a CSS style sheet attached, when I highlight this, it'll actually show me the styles that apply, which is pretty cool. Okay, let me just see if there's any other good ones uh, that I got that are live server is pretty popular. Live server creates basically what I can do is let me go back to so right over here. So this is extensions, and then here's my files. I can right click on a file and open it up with live server. And what it does, it starts a little server and opens it up in the browser. Like this file has nothing in it, so that's fine. But the idea is you can do that. <coughs> And here you can search through your files to do like find and replace, which is nice. Um, this you can actually like work with Git right out of VS Code. I've never really used that too much. Um, this is also for debugging. I haven't really used that too much. <coughs> but those are all pretty cool features. So again, there's a lot you can do here. Okay, um, that just makes VS Code a very pleasant development experience. Um, yeah. Now let's talk about keyboard shortcuts. So here I have like, there's a lot of them. Okay, so let's just kind of show you some. Okay, if, again, control C, control X, cut, copy. That's that's all gonna be the same. But let's say I wanna move this H2 down a line. I can hit, I can highlight it, hit Alt, and see I can use up and down to move where it is. That's pretty cool. Okay, now if I wanted to copy the line, I'd hit Shift, Alt, and then I hit down. Okay. Well, I created multiple insertion points. Let me read this again. Control. No, it says Shift Alt. I have Shift Alt, right? So let's see here. Shift Alt. So let's see here. Let's see here. I copy. I highlight the line. Yeah, no, that's just creating multiple insertion points, uh, which. I do want to do, let's say, so if, I, if I hold Shift Alt, well, it's just saying from there to there. Okay, so other ones, if you just want to quickly delete a line, Control Shift K, Control Shift K, boop, line's gone. Control Z is always good to undo. Okay, um, let's see, other really good sort of novel ones. Uh, scroll up and down, that's all fine, remove line, toggle line, navigation, keyboard shortcuts, user settings, that's all fine, find and replace, that's all pretty standard, control F, um, select all occurrences to a find match, so basically let's say I did this, I highlight H2, and I hit Alt Enter, okay, see now it highlights both H2s, so now if I go like this, boop, it deletes both. Control Z. Okay, so if you want to highlight everything of a particular type, let's see here. Um, insert cursor. Here we go. Alt click. So if you hold Alt, then I can create multiple insertion points. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So, so let's say. Control C. So let's add like a bunch of these H2s, and I want to edit all of these H2s to H3s. I can hit Alt, and see I'm creating multiple insertion points. And when you mix this with auto rename tag, now I just hit backspace, 
three. So now I've edited all of them, and on top of it, the closing tag has been edited for all of them. Amazing. Um, that's probably one of my favorite things. Um, cool. And yeah, those are sort of the main things. There's like a, there's a lot of shortcuts here. Most of them I rarely use, like Control S for save, of course. But um, it's the multiple insertion points, being able to move lines. Those are some of the more really useful ones um, that really save, that are real time savers. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. So that's a brief tour of how to use VS Code. You could split the window. So like right over here, like you could split the terminal. You could split the window into two. Um, and you can do it again. So you can just keep splitting it. So you can see multiple files at the same time. Um, also, when you're working down, working with markdown files. So if I were the, so if I'm creating documentation and I have like a readme.md file, I can actually, and then let's say here I have like, hello, this is a title. I'm just some normal text. Print. I am some code. And again, we'll say this is Python. Okay. So I can actually go here, right click on this and see I can open preview and I can see a preview of the markdown file um, in, in VS Code. So I don't have to wait till like I upload it to GitHub to see like how the, to get a flow for how my markdown is looking like and that, that I've coded out my markdown file fine. So that's also really, really useful. So there's a lot you can really do with VS Code, a lot of ways it can help you. Uh, my name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Have a great day and enjoy.